Okay, so we'll continue the installation of the SCX3405W. So at this point, what we will be doing is to install the driver wirelessly. So to do that, you can now actually disconnect the USB cable. And you have to make sure that the printer is already uh, turned on and you see the WPS button lighted up with the color blue. Okay? So go ahead and run the setup file again from the CD. Hit yes. Okay, so while it's setting up, please go ahead and look in your network settings and make sure that they're actually connected to the printer. Okay, so as you can see, my notebook is already directly connected to the printers or multifunction printers wireless port. Okay, so if you put the password a while ago, make sure you put the password that you set during the initial setup process. So here, you want to do a custom installation instead of doing the install now. So we will do a custom installation. Alright, do the same thing. Accept. Hit no. And choose wired wireless. And your notebook will begin looking for the printer. Alright, as you can see, it immediately detected the IP address of the SCX3405. Hit next. And leave everything as it is. Just unclick the Easy Print Manager. And go ahead and hit next. And you can give a name to the printer and share the printer if you're in a work group. If you're an IT manager, you can actually configure this. But for now, we'll leave all of this um, unchecked. So do the update later or it will start downloading the update. Okay. So we will go through the whole process until we actually do a test printout. I will be doing additional training videos for Samsung products within the next couple of weeks. So please stay tuned in our channel and uh, help yourself and you know learn how our technology works. So it's not going to take so long, it's like a, a few minutes, uh, but I don't want to skip anything so you guys don't, you know, miss a beat. Alright, so if you guys look over here, it's uh, reinstalling the, the printer driver. And also the scanner driver and the scan assistant. And it's doing a system update. And don't do a print test page. Just hit next and finish. Okay, so before I print, just want to make sure again that your USB cable is not connected and that your notebook is connected to the, the printer like I showed you guys earlier. Alright, that's very important. So I'm going to go ahead and open a Microsoft Word file. And you can see this is our latest uh, price list. Um, I will go ahead and send the print test page. Make sure you choose the 3405 printer and hit OK. And you can see that uh, right away the document was able to be printed. Okay. 
All right.